this is the first one of the seven that I did was to kick off the whole season and the kind of artistic event they wanted to put together. Every job that I do, every mural that I paint, whether it's, you know, commissioned by an organization or client, I make it a part of me. So I was hired to do it, but yes, I do make it a part of myself. So it's a little bit of both. The way I make this mural mine was adding my own story to what it meant to be raised royal. Um, the royals were looking for everybody's, you know, stories and ideas of how they think they could express that in the murals. So my direction was to take notes from my family or take direction from my family. So I have a tribute to my uncle who passed away last December, who was a big supporter of mine. And anything that I did was royal to him. He loved it. Um, my grandfather passed away the January of 2014. And so he never got to see the Royals do those back-to-back -back World Series runs and even take the, take the crown. So I wanted him to kind of have a home here too. I used to take him to games and he would be in the wheelchair and the, uh, the Royal staff was very, very nice and always came and got him from the curb, from the car and took him up to where he sat. Uh, we always had a great time at the game and so I wanted to make sure to kind of honor him there on the wall as well. And he, you know, when he was alive, he was in the Air Force and he, you know, the station here at Richard Cabauer, and that's why my family moved here. So he's literally the reason why I'm in Kansas City. It's like perfect place. Like it happened to be blank. There was an old train mural here a long time ago, but it had gotten eroded away. And so this surface was just kind of gray and bland, and it was a perfect place to put something nice and colorful. You could see it from the highway if you look over your shoulder <laughs> while you're driving or if you're sitting in the street. And then also this is a heavily, heavily trafficked area. So you're gonna get tons of eyes on it. And it was gonna be a little bit safer to take a picture of in front of than some other walls. So you could park across the street then walk across at the stoplight and get a picture. Um, similar to how people were taking photographs with the Salvi billboard last year. They wanted a location that would allow people to safely, you know, get their portraits taken. Seven of them, are slated to be scattered around. There's three up so far. For me, my first game was back in the early 80s. I would come back here from Jerusalem, Israel, and visit my aunt um, back here, and we would go. They would take me out to do certain things. So I actually got to see George Brett play, even though I wasn't um, somebody that lived here. But that was a huge impact on me, and I, I, rem I do remember the passion back then, and um, I remember how much everybody loved it but baseball wasn't a huge thing over in Israel um, so it was an exciting thing for me um, it was kind of weird that I ended up back in Kansas City uh, down the road and then going through photos I found pictures of me as a kid in Israel wearing Royals and Chief shirts so it's almost like a prophecy <laughs> I'm working on a wall on the other side of this building that uh, Fox has been nice enough to uh, fund but it, it says love Kansas City and it has historical Kansas City people and places on the insides of the letters. I, I knew I was pushing the limits on a couple logo things, so I reached out to the Royals and, and the Chiefs and stuff and just wanted to make sure I wasn't stepping on any toes. That was when I found out that, you know, I, I kind of was on some level, so I kind of dialed some stuff back. But that's what started the conversation about doing this mural. Um, and so they started the conversation and I sent them a sketch a couple days later. And next thing you know, we were moving forward on it. And I end up doing pictures that have lots of characters in it, and that ends up dictating their size and stuff. This ended up being like one big character, and so getting all the scaling and stuff at the, at the right height and getting all the proportions the right way was probably the most challenging part. This Friday, for First Fridays, we're going to, I guess, sort of have like a block party, and I'm gonna be finishing up my mural over here. I need to do another one of those birds up there and then do some touch-ups and stuff on it. Um, the Royals were kind of hoping that we would come out here and do some live painting and tie it into the art stuff. So we're going to have a DJ um, playing like funk music, my friend Jock Max, and then uh, we're also going to have food trucks and stuff out here also.